That means peace be unto you. My name is Yassine Shaheed. Uh, I'm very glad that you guys are being patient. Uh, so uh, just please be patient with me. What I'm going to do is speak to you guys, and I'm going to kind of explain for people who came uh, for the, uh, this is their first time here. I'm going to explain what our organization is, what it's all about, uh, what we're trying to do. I told myself the last feeding, I wasn't going to kind of explain nothing no more. I was more of trying to get straight to the work and start teaching you guys, okay? But uh, we got to explain what's going on, okay? But first, I'm going to open up giving recognition to Allah as me being a Muslim. Uh, it's actually in our sunnah to when we give out a lecture or kupa or any kind of teaching, we, we give recognition to our creator. Okay? All right? So I'm going to open up with Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And I'm going to translate to, to trans, translate that. It means, in the name of Allah, most merciful, most beneficent, all praises are due to Allah, the Lord of the, uh, the, 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 the worlds and the universe, systems of knowledge. I testify that Allah, He's the only one. I bear witness to worship him only. I testify that Prophet Muhammad, peace be blessed be upon him, that he is his messenger. Okay? All right? Now, it's just something for you to understand that. I said, I testify. And the reason why I said that because last meeting, uh, a brother asked me, he said, well, where, where are those people going right there when you die? I said, what are you talking about? And I knew what he was talking about. I was trying to make him say, he was one of those people. He was talking about some Muslim brothers that's with us. I said, I don't know where they're going. I don't know where I'm trying to go. I don't know what they do after the feed. They might do some other stuff. So I'm saying what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay? So, uh, inshallah, God willing, you guys will understand. But the reason our organization is promulgate, okay? Promulgate means to promote practice. All right. The reason why this organization came about because we had a lot of Muslim brothers that was coming out in the community theme. Not just that, we had other faiths. We had Christian brothers, uh, brothers of uh, uh, Judaism, and we had a lot of people going uh, coming to our feet. And so, due to the misconception from the media, that's the reason why we was out here teaching, promulgating. We was actually teaching a religion. You know, when you hear the word Islam or Muslim, you think of terrorists, right? The, 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 the person that sits under the TV or on social media, when you hear Muslim or terrorist, they ah! No, nah, man, ain't none of that. One of our obligations is charity. We supposed to come out here and take care of you. We are obligated to do this, okay? So, moving on. Uh, first, I would like to give my thanks to Lowe's and Fish's Soup Kitchen. Without, without them, we couldn't make this feeding possible. Or our other feedings possible, okay? I mean, these guys never gave me no problems. They let me come in and feed. They let me do whatever I want to do and talk. So these are some good Christian brothers. I want to first give a thanks to them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Secondly, I would like to thank all the volunteers that came out. Uh, we need you guys. Uh, I'm glad you guys out here helping, trying to get everybody here to participate. I don't like turning nobody away because that lets me know when you come here, you're a good hearted person. You're very sincere. And I just don't want to say, no, nah, you can't volunteer. No, you see me going back and forth. I'm trying to get everybody to see if they can't, they're not old enough. I want them to witness this, okay? All right, also, I want to thank the people who bought Promulgate t-shirts. 
because it shows that you show some kind of interest and support for our organization. Thank you. Okay. Everybody all right? Everybody all right? Yes. Amen. Good. I don't want y'all falling asleep on me. You can take some Now, <laughs> every feeding that Promulgate hosts, we come up with a theme or a topic for discussion. Just as a reminder, like I stated in previous feedings, we just don't feed. We also want to give our words encouragement and wisdom to raise the morality in each and one of you so that you may grow and be a productive person in society. By doing this repetitively, in time, we will see a change in each and one of you slowly in God's will that the homeless rate will decrease. But we have to have support from the community, and if you want it, so support from the community and you, and you guys, if you want to see any results, okay? One of our goals is to have our own facility. If we can have the staff and the qualified personnel, we can teach one of you on a day-to-day -day basis on self-improvement, performance coaching, teach business, economics, and entrepreneurship. But I've been going back and forth coming up with a theme or a topic for the last couple of weeks or so for this feed. And I was so eager and excited to teach you, like I stated before, about business, entrepreneurship, how to make money without money. But I, I, I kept thinking to myself, this would be useless in some degree. Okay? Now, why would I say that? I want you to think on that. Why would I say that? No. It is because the majority of you have gotten so low in life mentally that you have accepted what you have become and you are fine with your living status. Sleeping on trash and around filth. Continuous drug usage that eventually leads into addiction. Not worrying about any responsibilities like paying bills, rent, being a father or mother to a child. Don't have to listen to anyone. Come as you please and do as you please. As long as you make it through the day, you are fine. This is what I see. This is what society sees. Now, today, I'm not here to try to convert you or your religious beliefs. In fact, we've been out here four or five years feeding you, speaking to you, and not once you ever heard me or anybody representing this organization telling you in order for you to be saved, you need to be a Muslim and follow out Islam. Not once I said that. Not at all. In fact, in our holy book, which is the Holy Quran, Allah tells us there is no compulsion in religion, meaning there is no forcing. What I'm here today is to show you the reality of yourself and the world so you be able to convert your mind into a new way of thinking. The reality is, the reality is you are living like an animal physically and mentally. Now I want you to ask, I want you to ask yourself, is this life living like an animal? Is this life living like an animal? You need to question yourself this. In fact, depending on what type of animal, you live in worse than some animals. But the big kahuna is that some of these animals are supposed to live like that by nature, not you. Yes, these animals are free, but they're not free. Visually, we see animals with our eye. Yeah, they're free to roam around, but they're not free. They behave by how God has made them to behave, and they obey God every command. Everything in his creation submits and obeys God. Never in history of mankind have animals alter reality. Even if we were talking about the sun, the sun is not even free. It's obedient to God. It runs its computer course like it's supposed to. If the sun were to roam out in outer space, that would be it for humanity. And everything in the sun system. Can we agree on that? 
Now, I don't look at this so much as the physical way, like working on a farm or a railroad. Yes, we know that man needs to develop in community life. But I interpret this as Adam being a worker intellectually and spiritually for the development of himself. And if we all believe that we are children from Adam, then why are you sitting all day moping like something's going to fall from the sky and take care of your problems? You need to get up and get to working. Right? Okay. Nothing good has ever came to man sitting still. Even if we talk about primitive man, he was always productive. He even figured out how to make fire and put it in use in warm times, in winter times to keep him warm, how to cook his food, shelter himself from harsh weather. He was always productive. Now this should be a parallel to you, letting you know that every human being is no different. Yeah, when we talk about primitive man, there's, there's no difference. Man right now, opportunity lies ahead of you. All you have to do is believe, keep faith, and keep thinking and be able to get out of your situation that you're in. Now, look, I'm not talking to the ones that lost their jobs or just couldn't keep up with their rent or lost their home from a natural disaster. In due time, you will get a roof over your head. Just keep faith and be persistent. I'm talking to the ones that have been in these streets for many years walking around here looking dead. Yes, I'm talking to you. Something has happened where it affected your whole state of mind. When you look at life and opportunity different. It could have been you lost your job, death in the family, CPS taking your child, you got treated bad physically, your wife cheated on you with your brother, anything that threw you off course. I say this because even if you accept the streets as your home, or that bridge across the street as your home, no man with any sense will sit around and lay in filth all day. How can you have any vision when your mind is discombobulated and there's trash all in the way? If I put you in a million dollar home, guess what? You'll trash that. If I buy you a new car, you'll trash that. If I gave you a hundred fifty dollar bill right now, you wouldn't know what to do with it. And yes, you'll trash that too. Yeah, I got to talk to you. I got to speak to you in your language so you can understand. This ain't no kumbaya stuff going on around here, okay? I got to come straight, clear knowledge. Thank you, my brother. Yes, yes. Be patient. We almost done. Now, you have lost faith. You got no trust. You don't even trust yourself. You lost faith in yourself or someone you trusted. Now, I was reading a book by Eman W. B. Muhammad. If you don't know who Eman W. B. Muhammad, I think it should be American history and African American history, what, what he has done for Muslims in this country. He was the son of uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He took leadership of the Nation of Islam in 1975 and took two million people into the understanding of the Holy Quran and the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Two million. Now, follow me. The human heart, this is what he says, the human heart with sensitivities began to reach not only that the little small body it rose from, but also the world. Now that heart loses the original nature given to it and still has freedom, it's going to take that soul to hell. In time, going to become a miserable heart. Now listen to this. He also says, freedom is too big a responsibility for any creature without the support from something bigger than creation itself. Listen to this. I want you to listen. Please, listen. One more time. Freedom is too big a responsibility for any creature without the support from something bigger than creation itself. You got to have some kind of behavioral uh, system to govern yourself. If you don't, you're going to have an oppressed soul. A religious scripture 
philosophy or any any ideology that has any application to where you can apply it and put yourself in check. This is why in Al Islam we pray five times a day. We fast for thirty days for Ramadan. It's to keep us from the evils in this world and keep us connected with our Creator. We also follow the Sunnah, which is the life practices of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, because he is the perfect role model for mankind. How to conduct yourself as a father, a mother, a husband, a wife, how to treat the needy, kids, orphans, your mother, friends, people who are hostile to you, avoiding gossiping, business dealings, how to write a will, how to write a contract, I don't write a contract. Now, you know people out here be trying to get over. No, no. Try to go, I'll say, yeah, I'll do it. No, put it in writing. Because I didn't got, got over thousands of times. <laughs> now, that list goes on. But I'm going to close in this. Man is not efficient nor easy productive without support of the creator. If we just use rational thinking and apply it to whether the situation may be Brings Mary, you'll be able to rise out of that animal state. In due time, you'll be efficient and a productive man. Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings be upon you. Thank you. Now, thank you. No problem. We're getting ready to feed. I really appreciate you guys being patient. Uh,